welcome to the Friday edition of this show. Hopefully you guys have had a good week. And now, I'm going to let you guys know what's been happening around the world in the video game industry. An upcoming Assassin's Creed 4 DLC pack entitled Blackbeard's Wrath has been leaked. According to the game's trophy list for PlayStation 3, Blackbeard's Wrath will be a new expansion offering three silver trophies and a bronze one. More importantly are the trophies descriptions though, which reveal that the players will be able to play as Blackbeard, the Jaguar and the Orchid. Closed beta testing for Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls will begin by the end of the year. Diablo 3's first expansion pack is currently in a friends and family beta, limited to close acquaintances of Blizzard staff. However, the developer said members of the press and 3,000 of its most active players will also be invited to join before the closed beta begins. Battle.net users who want to participate in the closed beta must indicate their interests by opting in under the beta profile settings. So you guys know what to do. If Diablo 3 is your game, then hurry up and participate as you might get lucky and enter the closed beta. EA Chief Financial Officer Blake Jorgensen expects Titanfall to become a series of games, but it has yet to be decided which platforms potential sequels will be released on. He said, I'm sure that there will be future Titanfalls at some point that may be on multiple product platforms. If you didn't know, Titanfalls is an Xbox One exclusive, which of course is a bummer. I have heard many people call it the COD killer, but it can't possibly be a COD killer if it isn't available for all platforms. Therefore, it would make sense to eventually release it on other platforms such as the PlayStation 4. Call of Duty Ghosts map pack names reportedly revealed. An email reportedly sent out by publisher this morning promoting the Call of Duty Ghosts season pass is said to have included this image. Their initials spell out Odin, the name of the space station which appears in the campaign. The image has since been changed to this one. New Borderlands 2 Headhunter DLC confirmed. Borderlands 2 will get new DLC in the form of The Horrible Hunger of the Revenous Wattle Gobbler due later this month. The pack will release in North America on November the 26th for $2.99. It will also release in Europe and Australia on November the 29th for £2.39 and €2.99. Annualizing Battlefield could destroy the franchise, says EA CFO. He said that quality and uniqueness are jeopardized with yearly games. EA has settled into a biannual release calendar for the Battlefield series because going any faster could jeopardize its future. I couldn't agree more with this. Battlefield is not like any other game out there. Each game is something new and exciting. And you can see in Call of Duty that a lot of people are getting tired of the games because they are always the same. Warner Bros looks set to release Lego The Hobbit in 2014. An advertisement for the unannounced game reportedly appears on the instruction manuals of upcoming Lego Hobbit sets acquired early from Toys R Us stores in North America. According to the advertisement, the new entry in the Lego game series will be released on home consoles, handhelds and PC. This does it for this week. Everything I've talked about will be linked in the description as usual. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you next Tuesday. I'm like the dopest dope you've ever smoked.